No matter how seasoned a chef you are, there are always new ingredients and recipes to get fired up about. Right, the most amazing fish and chips, which is my go-to comfort food, served with incredible fries. For me, fish and chips screams cod. Highly sustainable, delicious, but the secret is in the back. This is a beer batter. Double zero flour, eggs, and beer. It sort of makes it lighter, crispier, and it's an amazing flavor. The secret is to make that batter the night before. The more you can let it rest, it becomes so crispy. Lightly season your fish. Too wet a fish can destroy the batter. So I like to season my fish first with salt. That extracts the moisture from the fish, which keeps the batter even more crispy. Then from there, just brush off that seasoning and just pad down the fish. That way it stays nice and firm. Into the flour and then nicely rolled. Make sure we get the ends done. Dredge the fish in the flour in order to make sure the batter sticks. Really important. And then next, into the batter. Make sure you dust off any excess flour. Otherwise, you get these white clumps of flour underneath the batter. Into the batter. Let it sink. I like top and tailing my fish. I trim the top, trim the base. I've got an even piece of fish. If it's cut evenly, it's going to cook even. Oil comes up to 300. It takes about six to seven minutes to cook beautifully. But here's the secret. Keep that fish coated. This is where it gets messy but exciting. Lift up your fish and then in to the fryer and just sort of taunt it first and just let it lay away from you. Shake the pan gently. That starts to cover the top. Look at that. It's beautiful. Golden brown. Now, take that out. Shake it well. Let that sit. They're like these perfect parcels and literally let that sit there. Now, as it's piping hot, put your salt and just lightly season the top. And what happens to the fish now, it just gets even crispier. But the batter seasoned underneath and on top. And that's really important. Right, fries. These are Yukon Gold potatoes. I'm basically just peeled, not washed, because I want the starch to get really nice and crisp. I start them off at a very low temperature in a way that I blanch them. And that is literally in the oil first for two minutes at 3.30 in. You can blanch them for two minutes at 3.30, take them out, let them rest, crank up the heat, go from 3.20 to 3.85. Great. Now the temperature's risen, fries back in, second time cooking, and this time it's getting them really nice and crisp. Fries are done, shake. You can hear how crisp they are. Out onto a tray, drain them really well, and lightly rub off the excess fat. Fresh parsley on top, a touch of paprika, and then a touch of salt and pepper. And then from there, just roll them around. You can hear how crisp they are. Fish comes over. Hear how crunchy that is. Fries, place them there. Hear how crispy they are. Beautifully. And there we have fish and chips, Alagorn.